There were large-scale power outages in the state of Texas. Many people had no electricity to stay warm. At least 21 people died. This would not have happened in the world's most developed nation, the U.S. This is a natural disaster, but even more so a man-made one. American society should regard it as a flaw in its views of human rights that deserves reflection. But I believe that American elites will refuse to do so. Former Colorado City Mayor Tim Boyd asked people to sink or swim in the face of disaster. He said that the local government and the utilities owe the people nothing. He even said. Seeking government assistance in the event of a disaster is sadly a product of a socialist government. Although he was forced to resign, he seemed to really hold these views and spoke for many American politicians who share them. In my opinion, the definition of human rights in the U.S. is becoming increasingly limited to the arena of political power. It is echoing the concerns of the wealthy few and the elite intellectuals, while gradually diverging from the rights that the general public depend on for their daily survival. The combination of democracy, human rights, and freedom in the U.S. is actually a combination of elections, political rights, and social Darwinism.